Alright, hey everyone, it's Duper here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix lag in Sony Vegas Pro 17. Vegas Pro 17 just recently came out, and I got my hands on it. Thanks to uh, JJ McIntosh, I will leave his video in the description if you'd like to get the software for free. I do not condone piracy, by the way, but it's, it's a good software and it's a great video by JJ McIntosh. He's a really funny guy too, so if you just want to watch it for the comedy. Anyway, let's get on to the video. All right, so here we are in Vegas. I have my timeline here. So I have, you know, just a couple meme clips as is tradition. So I've got It's Wednesday, my dudes, flex tape, and a couple other memes here. And so if we play the first clip back here with just regular clip with a transition, this is what it looks like. It is Wednesday, So it's my getting dudes. about 40 FPS, but then the transition makes the FPS just drop right off so you can't even see what the transition looks like because it just lags right out and that's just a common thing that people do while editing the second clip here is a bit more ridiculous it has two different clips on the screen at once bunch of different effects and everything going on so if we play it back slap on that flex it's tape it's two or three miracle. frames per second slap it on with the mic if you're trying to do a meme edit or something and you're getting three fps trying to edit all these effects in it's really unbearable and that's really not nice at all and then the third clip here is another little meme clip here. So we've got the reaction with stuff on top. And you can't even see, but I did like his hand repeatedly slapping down, but you can't even tell because it's lagging so much. So the first fix that we're gonna do is you go up into the settings icon here, which just says properties. You click it and this window pulls up. So the fixes that you wanna do in this window are disabling resample. So you go down here to where it says smart resample, Click it and hit disable resample. You're also going to want to go up to view transform here and where it says sRGB aces, you want to turn that off. And you hit apply. Okay. And then we'll see if it did anything yet. Hi dudes. So, ah! all right. So as you can see, the regular is clip is dudes. now getting 60 ah! FPS, but the transition still lags it out. And then here, Slap on we're that still getting about it's three frames per second. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go up to this tab that says Options. So you click that, you go all the way down to the bottom where it says Preferences, and then you go to this Video tab right here. And so I have my Dynamic RAM Preview set to 2,000 megabytes. So I actually have 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, or 15,000, or 16,000 megabytes. And so. When you're watching fixed lag videos on Vegas, there is usually two different pieces of advice. You either set it to zero, like, oh, whoops. <laughs> you either set it to zero and you hit apply, okay. My dudes. And that did help it a little bit, but not too much. Or what people will say is they'll say to set it to half of your RAM. So I'd set it to, oh, whoops, I can't type 8,000. So set it to half your available RAM. So I would set that to 8,000, hit OK, My and dudes. see what happens. Ah! And so in ah! my case, it actually hindered my FPS a little bit. Let's check out this clip here. Slap on that flex yeah. tape! So in my case, what I would do is set the video to zero because it seemed to help more. So it really is case dependent. So if all of these fixes still haven't worked for you, the next thing you can try and do is change this setting right here, preview quality from best full to preview auto. Now this is probably one of the biggest fixes you can do and it definitely helps as you'll see in a minute here. My dudes. So as you can see with the transition, it actually worked perfectly and had a full 60 frames per second. Now if we go on to this next clip, Slap on that flex tape! It's not a f***ing miracle! Slap it on with the might of Zeus! Also has 60 frames per second, even with all of these crazy effects and everything, so that's good. And with the third clip, we also got a full 60 frames per second. So, with all those fixes I showed you with my hardware, all of this should work perfectly at a full 60 frames per second. Now, for some of you, these fixes might still not have worked. And so I have a few other things that I can do to help you guys out. So I'm gonna go back to best full here and go on to this clip right here. So if you'll notice, what I was saying is I have two different tracks here. So I have the, the top one that's moving around and the bottom one, which is just kind of the base layer with the effects, right? So if we play it back, we're getting- Slap on that foot! Two frames per second, which is not good. But if you go over here to this red button with the M on it and click it, that will actually mute this top track right here. 
And so that means that when you're playing it back... Slap on that flex tape! It's not a f***ing miracle! Slap it! It will actually only play the clips that are not muted. And so you can edit. So while you're editing this bottom clip here, um, you'll have better frames per second while the top one is just being ignored for now. And if you want to get really fancy, you can go over here and click the yellow S, and that will make this track the only video track that is not muted. And then you can unclick it, and it will reselect all the other video tracks. So some of you out there may be using Vegas to edit longer clips like gameplay footage or vlogs or longer traveling, things like that. And so some of these fixes might help the certain part of the clip that you're editing, but then you move on to a different clip and it starts lagging again. So once your clip has been dragged in, what you can do is, you know, just go to random parts of it, hit play. Okay, seems to be working pretty good for me, but if for some of you it lags, this is what you can do. What you want to do is go into the project media tab here and it'll show you all of the different clips that you have on your project. So you go to the longer footage, you right click it, and you select create video proxy. And so what this is going to do is basically render the video in the background um, into a more readable file for Vegas, basically. So you'll be able to jump around the clip and Vegas will be able to read it more easily. So that will definitely help improve your FPS when jumping around. So for the last trick that I'm going to show you, you're going to need to go into your search bar over here and type task manager. So you open up task manager, uh, you click the drop down for Vegas Pro, you right click it, go to details. Now for me, what I usually do is I set the priority to high because real time it says can make windows unstable. Um, so you just click high here and yes, I do want to change the priority. All right. And then you're going to want to restart Vegas for the changes to take effect, open it up and you should have improved frames. Now, those are the tricks that I showed you. If you have any more tricks that you've seen, feel free to comment them in the description below. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe. I'll be trying to do more Vegas tutorials and more gaming videos more often. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm gonna try and upload more. I'm in a much better spot to record and upload now, which is nice. Um, I have a bit more time on my hands to record. I'm also still editing for Cynical, so the link to his channel will be in the description. Uh, some of the videos that I've been editing should be up soon, so if you guys wanna go over there and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.